changed my life. Hi, Debbie. Hello, hello. I'll be with you in one second. I gotta share my life. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Kathy. It's weird when um, you share your own life because you're like, hey, I'm live. <laughs> hey, Tony. Hey, Connie. Hi, Joanne. Hi, Bessie. I'm going to say Denise. <laughs> I got one more to share. Hold on. I'm sorry. I'm used to Cheryl doing this for me. everyone <laughs> Ugh, I almost didn't come on tonight but here I am hi Theodora hi Mary did you get your yes I did try I just did it I am doing Easter Debbie I made a wreath earlier I was gonna do tonight uh, but I made it today <laughs> but I'm gonna go live and do that one I did not record it uh, but I posted it earlier and someone loved it so they ordered one so I'm going to make another one so I'll do that on a live um, in a couple days because I have to go live in my um, design group tomorrow and we I might go in there Sunday too so I might go live if Cheryl doesn't go live Monday I'll go Tuesday and we'll do the purple and turquoise one but tonight I'm doing um, Easter and I'm going to do 30 inch ruffles. If you guys wouldn't mind sharing, I'd really appreciate it. Share, share, share. Again, if you guys are watching the replay also, if you don't mind um, liking and sharing. And if you're watching from YouTube, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Hey, Mary from Texas. So I'm doing 30 inch ruffles. And we're do I'm doing like a pink and like a... I don't know, it's like a turquoise blue color. And this is my sign. So we're doing this sign. Happy Easter. Now, I got that last year. So this is not from this year. Actually, um, all, the, all the Easter stuff is from the end of the season last year. So, um, and these are my ribbons. Let me just grab the whole... What did I use? use these. So those are my ribbons. No, I didn't use that one. What did I use? Sorry. Those are my ribbons. <laughs> it's been such a long day. One of those days, you know? And I have a whole bunch of pegs. I have a whole bunch of eggs. We got a whole bunch of bunny heads. So I got them in the pink and the blue. I'm not sure which ones I'm using. Again, I have a whole bunch of eggs. And I have um, these little flowers. I don't know if I'm using... Where are the rest of them? I don't know if I'm using all this stuff, but you guys know I like to fill them up. So we have all these flowers eggs and the bunnies in the sun and some ribbon and some mesh <laughs> so let's get started 
let me just, oh, my, my comment box wasn't up. Hi, D. Hi, Sandra. Hey, Tony. Hey, Jacqueline. Hi, Eileen. Hey, Mary Ellen. Barbara. Debbie. Gloria. Malia. Okay. Sorry, my scroll box was all the way up. I was like, I don't see anybody else. My bad, my bad. Good evening. Good, good evening, Trish. So, again, I'm doing 30-inch ruffles. You guys, please share, share, share. And again, I'll post, I didn't post last night's reef yet, but I will. I'll get these all up on YouTube with the supply list and all my links. And uh, I just want to tell you guys, sit in and shut in today, but kind of wait to watch. Uh, that, I hope you feel better, Jennifer. Um, I know it's going around, I'm telling you. I um, take thyroid me uh, medicine because... I don't have a thyroid, so it really controls my energy level, and I haven't had mine in a, like five days. So my energy's down. But I just took one a little while ago, and I was going to cancel. Sorry, I was going to cancel, but I was like, just do it, Laura. I'm so thirsty. All right, let me just get a drink, and then we'll start. Hey, Malia. Hi, Pamela. Um, so, yeah, I'll post all the links, like Lori Jacobs' Success Path, Owl's Tech Talk, My Design Group, um, and Susie's Mesh Roller. And, you guys, I just want to say, I know I'm always pushing Susie's Mesh Roller on you, but those prices are going up. Like, like up. So, this is the cheapest they will be at. Um, so, you really... If you really want a mesh roller, you should really get them. Um, if you use my affiliate, you get 10% off the mesh roller. But I'm just, I can't express enough. They really are going like up, up. So not just a little. I'm so thirsty today. Um, and honestly, they, they should have been up to begin with, but they're well worth it. I would have paid it no matter what they were. Hey, morning. All right, so I'm going to pan in so you guys have a, whoops, that's the computer. <laughs> My meeple is doing like a different action. It's kind of cool. i got to figure that out. I know it does so much more, but I just never read the computer stuff because, you know, I'm just not into this tech stuff. But I really should because I'm sure it does a lot more than I know. So I really wish I had a different color, like the more of the, eggy blue uh, for them, but it's fine. It'll just give that little pop. So again, I'm doing 30 inch ruffles. We have a, a 15 inch work wreath for them. Oh, nice trash. Hey, Susan. Um, so again, I always tell you guys if you're beginning and you're just starting out doing your ruffles, you always want to set something down there. Um, it just makes it easier to walk them in. So I'm doing 30 inch ruffles and we're doing this color in the pink and I'm just going to alternate them. So we're just going to do blue, pink, blue, pink, blue, pink all the way around. So I'm just going to walk them in. You just want to try to keep your ruffle right in the center, right up the middle. Then you just want to squeeze it right in the middle before you pick that up, holding it there. You're going to open up your tie, set it in there. How's the volume, guys? Because usually I turned down my phone and I didn't. Is it okay? Hey, Barb. I can see you. <laughs> now you know. <laughs> and you're not the only one that's done that, though, so you're fine. So, we have, so we're just going to go to the blue, to the pink, to the blue, to the pink. Hi, Kelly. Jan, Janelda, Janelda, Kelly, is that, is Janelda your first name? Some people put their um, last name first, so I'm quite confused. Janelda. Oh my God, does anybody watch um, Jersey Shore? <laughs> because the song they were singing last night, um, I sang that all morning. I could not get that song out of my head. 
I, and now I can't remember it, but I was singing it all morning. It's funny, though. Yeah, I like all the reality shows. I don't watch Teen Mom, though. I'll, I'll say that. When you're doing your ruffles, you want to remember to stand up the one that's next to it so it's not squishing it down. Uh, Cecilia, I hope you guys all feel better. That stinks. I, I swear, everybody's getting sick around here. I don't have cable, but I have TV. <laughs> Oh, girl, I couldn't live without cable. Earlier, like, I don't know, a couple hours ago, I just got done watching Tommy Boy with my husband. He watches it all the time. But, um, when I went to turn the TV on, I got hooked on Big... Oh, Big Brother is my ultimate favorite. Favorite. I can't... They're doing the celebrity one, but I don't know if that one's on TV. Um, but my TV would not come on. I thought... Oh my god, my TV doesn't work. I mean, we got like eight TVs, so I could have just went to a different room, but still though. It's only a few years old. Oh wait. You know, I, I can't talk in, in um <laughs> wrong one. You can't afford it. I know. Um here's the thing though. Just put put money away each week. Cause they're an ultimate. Oh, you mean the TV cable? Yeah. It is expensive. I, I had to downgrade our packages, but then they took... I was trying to take just um, certain channels out, but you go by packages now. You can't just get the channels you want. you got to buy a certain package, and if that channel's not in the package, you got to upgrade to the next package, which is ridiculous, because I only needed one channel. So I had to upgrade the whole package, because one of my reality shows was not in there. No, I did D. I messed it up. Because I can't talk and I can't multitask and talk. <laughs> but you guys will let me know if I do it again. Last night I put the ribbons in the same spot, I think, three times. So, and I'm tired. Okay, now we're doing pink. Now we're doing big. Hi, Aunt Mary. My husband and his DVR guys. Yes, I DVR everything. Like, I DVR'd my shows just a little while ago for tonight. Friday's not a big night. Um, Thursday's a big night. Well, every night's a big night except Fridays and Saturdays. I have a couple shows on, but the rest of the week is when all my shows are on. Like, I watch all the Housewives. I watch, total, I watch all the reality shows, guys. All of them. Survivor, Big Brother, All the Housewives, Jersey Shore, Flora Obama. I mean, some of them are just the Kardashians. I just love them all. And they're really, they're really not reality. They're, they're scripted. You know, to get us to watch. But, that's what I like. I'm telling you, if reality shows were around when I was younger, I would be super rich. <laughs> I would have been a reality star. Because, girl, the stories I could tell. Oh, hey, hi, Lourdes. Oh, I love Below Deck. Yes. Did you see where that guy fell in the water and almost drowned? Ugh. Yes, I love that one. Especially with Kate. She's got that resting, you know, she's got that resting bitch face. I love Kate. Yes, Below Deck. I love that show. Oh, and flipping out with Jeff Lewis. He's crazy. There's just too many to name. <laughs> uh, I don't watch the um, Dancing with the Stars or the singing shows, though. I used to, but I don't know. I don't watch those anymore. Let's 
so. Yep, I watched them all. Basketball, Wives, Love and Hip Hop. There's so many. <laughs> so, so many. Yeah, sometimes my old DVR only recorded, so you could record two shows, but you had to have one of the shows on. Um, and the new DR, DVR records up to nine different shows at the same time. So, um, and sometimes I fill it all up and my husband will go watch TV, go to watch TV, but I'll, I'll have like nine shows recording, so he'll have to watch one of those. And he'll, he'll, um, delete one. Oh, he gets in such trouble. It's like there's nine TVs in the house. Can you go to a different room? Like the family room TV is mine. See how I hate that when, when the, these aren't measured out properly because these ones are nice and sp up against each other. And then this one has this huge space here. So I'll probably add some rolls right there because I don't like spaces. So I probably will go add rolls through this too, which I did not cut down. Hey, Carla. Hi, Aurora. Yes, Jeff Lewis is crazy. I don't know how the people work for him as long as they do. <laughs> and poor Jenny. What he did to Jenny. Yeah, I could talk reality shows all day, guys. I should just come on and do a live and we'll just talk all the shows. <laughs> talk TV with coffee. <laughs> Hey, Vicky. Hey, Malia. You're not really behind. Wait, who's in, um, whose time zone was like five hours from me? Was that you? I think it would have been, if you came on at 8, it was 1 a.m. If I come on at 8, I was going to try to come on earlier, but I didn't. Um, it was 1 a.m. where you are. I forgot who that was. It's 30 inches, Cecilia. I did 30 inch, um, right, Nancy? Poor Jenny. Jeff is brutal. 30 inch ruffles. She's so, I mean, she's been with him forever. And just, I could I would have told him to go F himself a long time ago. I mean, I love Jeff and watching him, but I, I could never work for him. Mm -mm. I physically have to hurt him. <laughs> He's just so unappreciative. Of course, those two, those two um, guys, he, the managers that were supposed to like be on sites and manage the projects. Oh, they were bad. So he actually gave them quite a few chances, which he never does. Hey, Pat. Hi, Betsy. I'm making a um, Easter. Yeah, I, I record everything. Sometimes I f I'm recording nine shows all at once. Cheryl knows. I'm like, Cheryl, I got to go. I got to go watch my shows. And of course, that's usually at like 11.30 at night, and then I'm up to 3 in the morning trying to watch them all. Hey, Denise. He's damn good. Yes, this is true. He is. Hi, Diane. So we just have a 15 inch work wreath form and I'm just doing 30 inch ruffles and we're alternating the two colors. And you want to remember to stand your roll up 
your ruffle against the other one so they're not pushing them down. Oh, that space between that one is so annoying. Hi, Mary from Ireland. Will you make a hip? Yes, yes, I am, Elaine. I'm, I'm buying stuff now to do a kit in my design group for Valentine's Day. Um, and I went to three different stores locally. I mean, I've been online looking at some things. I got some ribbons. Um, but I'm the AC Moore. AC Moore has great um, picks. I don't like to buy my picks on uh, like Craft Outlet and those places. I think they're a little too expensive. Um, or I know I can get them at AC more and then they're 40% off automatically as soon as they put them out. Hobby Lobby usually waits a certain amount of time and lets something be out for a while before they put them at 40% off. AC more puts all their stuff at 40% as soon as they get it out. Um, so I asked them, like, uh, when are you guys going to have East? I mean, they got summer things out and spring, but they don't have Valentine's and Easter. Um, and she said that it will be out right before Christmas. So, hi, Jasmine. Hey, Laura. I like your name. <laughs> hey, Gina. Hey, Lisa. Um, so, right before Christmas. So, yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm definitely doing Valentine's. Uh, last year is when I started making wreaths. And Valentine's was actually, I didn't make wreaths. I started right at Christmas time, but I wasn't selling. So, uh, I didn't sell any Christmas last year. I started selling at Valentine's. So, yes, yeah, so I can't wait to do Valentine's. And Easter. I'm only doing Easter right now because this is all left over from last year. And I had it. How much is your debt? Uh, Elaine, my design group is $15 a month. I go live in there twice a week. Uh, Sunday is the actual design day. And, um... And then I go in on Saturdays, and once in a while, I'll go in and design something on Saturday. We It was Wednesdays. I just switched it to Saturday, though. Um, but it's more like a Q&A or we practice bows. I'm going to be doing more in there on Saturdays. Uh, like tomorrow I'm going in, and we're going to, and I've never done this before, but I'm going to try. Again, you guys, I'm still learning. Um, but... Um, we're, I'm gonna try. We're gonna try to do a hat because I really want to start making my own hats, especially for Easter and Halloween. I, I I bought a lot of hats for Halloween to put on my skulls, um, so I really really want to start doing my own hats. So tomorrow will be the first time I try to make a hat. So I'm sure you know the more you do something, the better you get at it. So, but I go, it's $15 a month, and I go live uh, Saturday and Sunday. <coughs> um, there wasn't really anything scheduled for this week because we decided in the group that we would do last week's reefs and this week's reefs um, last week, just so people that are in the group that sell reefs could try to get the Christmas ones sold. Um, so we went ahead and did this week's reefs already. And... Normally, I would put up four weeks ahead of time with the supplies, item numbers, where I bought them, and all that. Um, but I, I haven't done that right yet. Um, there's there's nothing listed right now. Just There's a lot of, um, you know, the, the videos you can go watch of everything I made. My Christmas tree's in there, so you get to see that for free. Otherwise, that's a $15 digital download, because um, we did that in the group. But, um... Yeah, um, and I think next Sunday, next Sunday we're doing, I'll show you. Hi, Marla. Right, Elaine? I know, I definitely want to make my own hats. But um, next week we're doing this. Let me zoom it up. So I found this today at Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to make a floral arrangement. This is a real light bluish green. It's like a light blue with the browns in it. Flowers weren't on sale this week, so I'm going to wait till next week to get flowers, but we're doing this next Sunday in the group. And this was $39, and it was 40% off, so I think it was 20, I want to say 21 or 24, but I just lose my color, so I wanted to do that. And we're doing hats tomorrow, 
but I think we're doing that. And we'll probably go in there Sunday um, because I kind of have an idea for an Easter bunny. Think, I know, I blue's my color. I just love blue. Uh, so let's see, you got pink. Um, but I'm going to start doing... Um, so normally I, in the group, I just put up like four weeks of wreaths, and if they want to, you know, make them with me, I put up the supply list and the item numbers. That's a lot of work, though, so I don't know if I'm going to keep doing that. If you ask me for it, I can give it to you. Um, but I'm going to do, at least try to do one kit a month, so it'll be like the wreath of the month, and you can buy those kits. But Valentine's will be my first kit in the group, and right now I'm only offering that to my design group. And then I think after, I might do one for Easter on my public page. But whatever I sell um, in the design group, I can't sell to the public because it's, you know, just for my design group. So we'll, we'll see how the kids do, because like I said, I've never done them. And I'm like, I don't, you know, I'm a little confused, like how much of this do I need? Usually when I buy, I overbuy stuff when I shop, so it's really hard not to do that. <laughs> I don't want to buy a whole bunch of kits and then I can't sell them. Hey Cheryl, I need to learn to make more arrangements too because I have kind of always think I forgot. Oh yeah, I love doing florals. And uh, um, next Sunday we're doing well, we're doing that, and um, this Sunday I might do a grapevine because I love grapevines. I do a lot of grapevines in the summer, spring, summertime. I mean, I still do mesh wreaths, but I, I do do a lot more um, grapevines because that's usually what I sell the most of. I mean, last summer, every time I did a grapevine, it sold right away, so you think I would have just kept doing them. <laughs> it shouldn't be a dud. Right. Uh, Elaine, right at the top of my page, there's my, you know, Laura Jean's Reef Room logo right at the top. And there's a Learn More button. If you click that button, it takes you right to the PayPal. And you just put in your email, and you'll be on a reoccurring payment. So if you signed up today, 30 days from today, it'll take $15 out. It automatically does it. Anytime you want to quit, though, you can quit through PayPal. Um, so it, it will um, take $30 or $15 out of your account um, every 30 days. But the Learn More button will take you right to the PayPal. And then I, once you pay, I prove you to let you in the group. Yeah, I love doing grapevines. Grapevines are so pretty. I just love flowers. I like putting flower arrangements together. And I've always done those for my house. I never thought, hey, let me do this on a live, or, you know, before I started doing wreaths. Um, I never thought, let me go online and sell these. <laughs> Who knew? Yes, I love that. I love that. I seen it, and I was like, I, and they had a little red one that was smaller, and I was like, maybe I should get the red one. And I was like, no, I really want that one. Because I've been looking for, you know, something to do a floral in, and, and not anything they had. I mean, a lot of the stuff out now is the stainless steel. You're welcome, Elaine. Thank you. It's the stainless steel, um, you know, and I just, I like things with color. That farmhouse look, I mean, I love it, but I don't always want to do it. And... They started stocking on uh, new things in the store and moving Christmas over and getting rid of a lot of Christmas. So Hobby Lobby takes forever to get their stuff down to 70%. Like it'll be slim pickings by the time they do. But um, let's see, my AC Moore, I think theirs was, their ribbons are 70% off. And Joanne's has, bye, hi Brenda, no puffs, <laughs> just doing ruffles and I'll probably add a little rose in because um, there's some spaces in this. 
form. I don't know if the people who put the ties on are the machines off or it's the people off. I don't know, but the ties are always not even. I hate that. Gina just bought one last time we were in. Oh, really? Yep. Yep, so they're coming out coming out with uh, new things. So I'm like, yay. I've seen a lot of signs I loved, but they're gigantic. I mean, I you know I could do something with them and not put them in a reef, but I just couldn't imagine shipping them. <laughs> so I was like, nah. Like, I try not to do things that are too big, like that base. Once I put the flowers in it, it's going to be... So I've got to find a box for it. Where is my end? Um, to ship it, you know, if someone buys it. And the reef I made today, because I put the bow in the center, um, it's like 10 inches tall. So I had to let the customer know, like, to keep your shipping prices down, your bow's going to be a little squished, but do you mind um, just refluffing your bow? And she's like, not at all. So Otherwise, I would have had to go search for a box, and her shipping would have been mad expensive. Thank you, Casey. Uh, I won't pick it more. <clears throat> it's Easter. Easter colors. What did I just do? So, pick two. so, if you guys are just popping on, if you don't mind, please sharing. I'd really appreciate it. Please and thank you. You're the best. The best of the best. And again, I know um, I upload these to YouTube. So hello, my YouTube subscribers. If you also wouldn't mind sharing, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And you guys, don't forget the King Sumo giveaway. Make sure you're entering that too. Um, my YouTube community, it's in my community link or my community post. Um, the link is in there for the King Sumo to win the ultimate mesh roller. So please make sure you enter it every day. And if you click other pages and subscribe, you get more entries. Um, and that, King Sumo will announce the winner to me. It randomly picks it. I have nothing to do with how that's getting picked. Um, that will be, I think, on the 22nd. I'll watch the replays. Yes. <coughs> Good night, Malia. All right, honey. Yep, I was going to go to bed early, and here I am. <laughs> so now I'm going to go live. I said I would. I got to. I don't like when I say I'm going, and then I, I don't. Plus, you know, I'm trying to get my, my followers up there. It's really hard once you get to it. I feel like I, I got stuck at a certain point, and it's not really going up. But I know I used to go live three days a week, and now I'm doing one. So I think the algorithm, Facebook algorithm, is not throwing me on people's home pages like it was. So I'm going to have to start bumping up my lives for a little while. But it does help when you guys share, so I really do appreciate that. And I know people are watching right now that don't even like my page. You think you like my page, but you haven't. I know who you are, and I'm watching you. <laughs> hey, Cece. Hey, Ellen. Thanks, Carol. Oh, Ruffle. I know. I love Ruffles. Poof Ruffle and Rose is my favorite, though, because it just makes the fullest wreath, and I love them huge. Well, I did that last night, so I was like, I cannot keep doing pull for and rolls. Because, uh, you know, most of my reefs are pull for and rolls, I'm not going to lie. Because it's my favorite. And they always look different. They're always designed different, so it doesn't matter if you're doing the same thing all the time. Do you have a discount code for Susie's Reefs and things, please? Janice, I do. Um, do you want that right now, or can I send it to you after this live? Wait, let me just go. I'm going to go grab it real quick. So, we're going to do the ribbons. And this was a lot easier when you had a moderator, that's for sure. 
<laughs> I'll throw that up real quick, though. I was going to pin it, and I didn't. Sorry, guys. Just give me one second. Oh, voila. Oh, you are. Where am I? Yeah, so what's... Oh, Sweet Home. Does anybody watch? That's on, I think. Is that tomorrow? That's to, no, it's tomorrow night. It's called Sweet Home. It's a design show on Bravo. I love that show, too. Hold on, I'm just trying to find it. I got all my links in here. Susie. There it is. Sorry, guys, I know. It's a pain. <laughs> I'm just going to put Susie's uh, link up for you guys, though. All right, Joyce, I'm posting it now. Yeah, so, because um, she is going to raise those prices after the first of the year. Did it go? I don't see it. There it is. Okay, so we're doing uh, these two colors with the pink bunnies on it, and then I have these two colors. Again, these are last year's ribbons. I really wanted different ribbons, but that's all they, I don't, I didn't like my other ones. This one's cute, though, too. Should we do, I think we should do that one, the bunny. I think the bunny with that one would be cuter, huh? What do you guys think? I think this one. I just, which one do you guys like better with the bunny? Do you like this one, or do you like the stripes? Hi, Pat. Hey, Ellen. I'm going to cut one and see. I'm going to cut one to see. Where's my ribbon thing? Let's just cut one down and look at them both together. Because now I'm like, things that make you go, hmm. Oh, thanks, Felita. I mean, it's hit and miss sometimes. <laughs> Barbie like the stripes. Okay. I just want to see, though. You guys are saying stripes, so I'm going to go with it, but I like this one better. Just so you know. I'm going to let you guys pick it, though. I am, I am. Okay. So, these are going in every other tie. And then these ones will go in every other tie. They're 14 inches long. And I dovetailed them. So, you're just going to cut your ribbon at 14 inches. You're going to fold it in half. And then you're just going to take your scissors and cut it at an angle. And that's a dovetail, for those of you who don't know. i got to get a whiteboard, so when I do that, you can actually see. <laughs> yep, my gut said the other one, but I'm. It, this one's cute, too. I mean, it, they're both going to look cute, but I think the other one would be cuter. But it's fine. It doesn't matter. If I didn't show you that, you would have never known. So let's do, I'm going to do this one and the blue one, and the blue ruffles. Oh, you know what I was going to do too? Hold on a second before I get to the pink. Sometimes I double my ruffles. I just want to see something. So I really liked, I guess it's, it's kind of a coral color, huh? It's not really pink. I was going to put a, a ruffle in there, but it's not pink, it's coral. I'm not going to do that. I really love that color, though. I was going to add a smaller ruffle into these with a lighter pink and then a, maybe a darker blue inside those ruffles. But it's fine. I'm not going to do that. I was going to, but I don't need to. 
sometimes I get a little extreme. You guys, I had to go place an order for um, tubing, because you guys all know I love tubing. And I don't have the tubings in the summer colors. I got all the Christmas ones. Yeah, it's peachy. Yes, it's very peachy. It's pretty, though. It's very pretty. I think that was for a beach one I did in, like, a coral color. I can't remember. I used it for something. Remember, shape your ribbons. Shape them, shape them, tug on them, pull on them. Thanks, Trudy. You can tug on them. Once you get them in that twist tie, I'm going to twist it off a couple times. And then I always do my ribbons outwards. So it just makes your wreath look fuller and bigger when you take the bottom ones and pull them out. Don't be afraid to yank on these, you guys. you got to get the shape and pull them out. They will go where you want them to. Where did you get your tubing? Uh, craft Outlet. So I get most of my tubing um, either at the dollar store, um, when the, you know, for the Christmas, just the basic reds, blacks, you know, Halloween and Christmas ones, but um, certain tubing, the flex tubing, the more thicker, really nice tubing, I get at Craft Outlet. So I need like the purples, the turquoise, pinks, you know, um, obviously the dollar stores don't have those colors out. Uh, when the dollar store does have tubing out, I pretty much buy the whole store out. There's four dollar stores in my area, and I think I bought all the tubing in two of them. And I will go tomorrow and buy all the rest of the tubing to put away for next year, because I do usually put tubing in every wreath unless I don't have a matching color. And even then, when I do get the matching color, if that wreath is still here and didn't sell, I will go add the tubing to it at that same price because I just like tubing. A uh, lady bought a Christmas tree off me. It was already sold. She already paid for it. And then I went in and added more stuff to it. I know I'm weird. <laughs> like, I just went in and added more stuff. She was like, oh my God, it's so pretty. Why did you do that? I just like things to be a certain way. Like, hi, Jamie Brown. Um, hi, Tina. So when I, I did, um, in the, I'll show you guys after. But um, in my design group, the first reef we made in there was a um, swag. Not a swag, I'm sorry. A grapevine. A winter wreath. I'm calling it a winter wreath. I was going to do uh, keep it for my front door. Oh, really, Casey? Yeah, you might want to cut it bigger, and you're just doing like... I always make mine just like a, an eight, so I do a loop. Up, if I have the colors... I didn't even look to see if I had the colors for this. Um, but I, I did order these colors, but they won't be here for five days. <laughs> so if this reef is still here in five days, it will have these color tubings in it. Um, but I... Um, Uh, I'll show you if I put tubing in. All right, I do the exact same thing, adding more stuff. Yeah, Elaine, I do. I know I'm so weird. It's like, it's already paid for. Like the reef, anyways, the grapevine, that, uh, the winter reef that I made, the first reef in the design group, um, it's on my site for 135 And honestly, guys, it, it should be at, at like 200 and something. I'm just weird. I can't, it really should be. But I listed it for 135 and I probably went in and added twenty more dollars worth of picks in it. It maybe more. So I'll show you it, and it's still at the same price. And it should have been way over one thirty-five to begin with. I know. I I, I don't know how I stay in business. <laughs> <coughs> Did you ever get to a uh, tell me? Well, I think I can tell you some of you that you said you don't allow you in the stores. <laughs> No, um, wait till you girls come to my town, because 
you guys are going to shop, shop, shop. Because literally 15 minutes from me, if we go one way, we have Hobby Lobby, AC Moore, and Joann's. And if we go the other way, we have the At Home Store, Marshall's, and Michael's. And then, you know, like Target's and Kohl's and all that. But yeah, uh, I haven't been in Marshall's most of this winter. And I went in there the other day. And I was like, God, why didn't I come here? I mean, they had so much Christmas stuff. And, I mean, Marshall's is pretty cheap. So much Christmas stuff. I don't know why I didn't go there this winter. I think I just stuck to my side of the town, the Clay of Hobby Lobby, um, Joann's, and AC Moore. But, yeah. I can't believe the amount of Christmas they had in there. Hi, Connie. But yes, when you girls come up for the, what are we calling it? What did Lori say? My my crafters retreat. Laura called it Craftapalooza. <laughs> um, in the summer at camp, we're gonna have to take it. Well, my camp's forty five minutes away from the house, so I mean we would have to take one of those days to do a shopping trip. So you might have to come. Like, three, four days, three nights, just to get the real experience. Or we could just do a whole week. Right? I know, I can't wait either. I can't wait for summer. I can't wait for camp. I miss camp. I didn't go up there a lot last year because I was just busy. But this year... I don't care if I have to bring all my stuff to camp. I'm going to camp. Uh, the reform is a 15-inch work reform. Hi, Judy. Hey, Pat. Yeah, so excited. That'll be fun, like if, you know, actual people come. <laughs> that would be so fun. I'll have people at camp, because really, um, my kids are older. My teenager hates going to camp, so he just stays home. My husband rather just stay home, so I usually go by myself. Um, you know, it gets boring up there sometimes by yourself. I mean, there are a community of 1,500 people. And my sister-in-law camps up there. But the only problem is she wants to stay at her site and I want to stay at my site. <laughs> so. But it is super fun, especially if I do it on a holiday weekend. And we there's like a golf cart parade. There's poker runs. There's bands. We're going to go live. We're going to craft. We're going to shop, and we're going to eat. It'll be like a B&B &B at camp. <laughs> Thanks, Melinda. Yeah, these are, um, all the videos are always right, um, saved right, you can always watch the replays right in my videos on Facebook, and I always upload them to YouTube, to my YouTube channel. Okay, so we got all the ribbons in. I see some, where are those little scissors? Some fray. Let me get those out. Should probably turn on my glue gun. So it's nice and hot. Let me grab that. Hey, Kathy. Hi, Jasmine. And drink wine. Well, you girls can drink wine. Wine puts me to sleep. Um, I might drink a goose or something. <laughs> but not wine. I'll have one glass and be all happy and silly, and then I'll go to have another one, and I'll take three sips, and I'll be like, you guys, I gotta take a nap. 
So, I don't know how fun I'll be. I don't know. I just, wine makes me tired and sleepy. And it gives me a headache. Alright, so I'm going to, I went to the store today and I got 800 um, at Lowe's, these uh, zip ties, a bag of 800 for $18. I don't know if that's good or not, but it's right there and I grabbed them. So you stay that on the outside ring, then the middle. It, yes, um, Cecilia, it doesn't matter where you start. You could start on the inside ring. You could start on the outside ring. Um, I just alternated the two colors. They're 30 inch ruffles. So we did the blue, then the green, then the blue, then the green. Or I'm sorry, the turquoise. What color is this? It's like a it's like a greenish blue. So we did that one, then the pink, then the green, blue, then the pink. So I alternated them, um, but it really doesn't matter where you start. As long as you're switching back and forth the colors. Let me grab some pipe cleaners here. Rum and Coke. I'm a Grey Goose Seven and Lemon. I'm not a real big drinker. I don't normally drink unless it's like, you know, I'm going to a Christmas party. I mean, I don't sit home and drink or, um, or at camp. If I'm at camp, if I'm there by myself, I won't drink. Um, but if I'm going up to the band, and I can't day drink, okay, you guys, and you need to know that. I cannot day drink the zip ties. Uh, these are eight inches, and they're um, 75 pound is what they're called for the heads. So it's not like a small, tiny head, but it's not a super large. Uh, but these are eight inches. Um, I cannot day drink. I will be sick, I will have a headache, and I will have to go to sleep. <laughs> $8.99, all right, I guess I didn't make a good thing there. They were just right there and I was out, so I grabbed them. I think this won't go through. See if my staple gun's gonna work today. So I always give it a little loop when I'm doing it. So I just feel like if you're straight, that staple, you know, it could slide out. So I always just do a little loop. And then I staple. Oh, that's okay. I type all the time and I don't have long nails. <laughs> I always go to, you know how when you mess up, typing and you go to push backspace so you can um the gun oh, all right I guess I'm gonna have to buy a new gun as much as I don't want to um and I forgot staples um I go to backspace and instead of hitting the backspace ball and I always click enter and people are like Laura do you not know how to type <laughs> see they're stuck there I gotta get these staples though. I'm up. I'm almost out. Get in there. As long as it's still staples, I'm using it. Hey Sherry. Come on. Work. Ah, I was just at Lowe's. Shoot. Shoot, 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 do you ever... Oh, Melinda, Melinda, I hate cable mount adhesive, those cable mount things. I would never use those. I don't recommend them. I hate them. <laughs> She's like, shit, why did I ask? <laughs> um, no, I have used those when I first heard of them, uh, but I've had them fall off. I, thank God, I always check my wrist before I ship them, make sure everything's tight, my... my signs are nice and tight you know I adjust everything make sure all the phrase off before I package it up and ship it and well I three times went to check the sign um it fell off the whole mounts the plastic itself the sticky part was still on there the plastic came off and I dab put hot glue on them I've used the dab rapid fuse and glued them and they still came off so I'll never use those I don't trust them. The last thing I want to do is have someone pay like a hundred something dollars for a wreath and their sign falls off. You know? 
So I don't even think I put those in my affiliate link. If I'm not going to recommend them, I'm certainly not going to try to make you buy them. Central Indiana. Hi, Constance. I like your name. You know, it's a pretty name. Someone um, that used to follow me. I don't know if she still follows me. Rain. Isn't that a pretty name? I love that name. Is that on there? No. One more. Come on, staple gun. We need one more. One more. What's that one? They keep getting out. They get messed up somehow in here. I don't know why. I mean, it is a very old gun. But... You guys, if something still works, I don't want to buy something new. Until it does not absolutely shoot out, I'm going to use it. Alright, so you know what I want to do, though? I think before I put that sign on, I do want to go ahead and add some rolls into this. I forgot I wanted to do that. That, yeah. I'm not adding rows. I'm going in between. Let me move this out of the way for a second. I'm going to go in between. So I'm just going to cut. I'm just going to cut some 10 inch rows. I'll probably do nine of them. And I know I could have just left it like that, but I'm not going to. There's usually a light right there, and it's not there. So I was like, oh my God, where'd the light go? I moved it over here in front of me. I was like, why does it look bare right there? So I'm just doing uh, 10 inch rolls. I'm going to cut nine of them, I think. I think I have enough. So are you guys entering every day on the King Sumo? I'm really hoping one of you. I'm hoping one of you guys that watch me win it. I just want to say go ahead and flop it around the staples, right? Or don't get the super, super long ones either because you're definitely going to go through all your signs. I'm not going to like how that's going to roll. I'm just going to throw that out. What do you got here? One, two, three, four, five... Six, seven, I don't even know if I'm going to add all these, but we'll see. Eight. I think I can get one more. Yeah, I went to the store today, and I knew I, I really got to start carrying the list. Well, I usually message myself what I need, so I don't forget things. And I didn't, and I forgot stuff. I hate that. I hate when they have to run to the store like 18 times. Let me... Okay, do you use them? Let me get... What color do I need the turquoise? Is that the same color? No. Oh. Oh, you know what? I'm going to add a different shade of blue in there. I'm going to do... I'm going to do nine of this color. We'll have two different blues. do that instead. I know. I'm weird. Throw this on the floor. <laughs> I don't know why my garbage can is way back there. You guys notice my mat's not sliding? Did you notice that? Guess what I got today? I use cable. I use cable mounts. Oh, shame on you! <laughs> I just don't like that. Wait till one of your signs falls off and you get a complaint. 
Like, literally, the sticky part was still attached to the sign. Um, the plastic part came off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I, I got my, um, hi, Stacy. Don't enter, I made my own much roller. Well, Brenda, you could still, um, give it away as a gift, or you could do a King Sumo giveaway if you want it. Or you could have two. Honestly, <laughs> I, I'm going to need another one for camp. That way I don't have to lug mine back and forth. I'll have to enter someone else's King Sumo for um, a mesh roller and pray I win it. Because <laughs> I didn't think of that. I, I'm going to need one at camp. Because when I do bring my stuff out to camp, I have to bring my mat, my cutters, my scissors. I have to make sure I don't forget nothing. Like here, when I'm creating, you know, I can look around and see other things I want to add. Um, at camp, I can't do that. What I have at camp is what I have at camp. All right, so I'm going to, I need pipe cleaner. I thought I had some out, no. Did I put those big ones back? Yes. All right, so I'm just gonna randomly add these. Or do you have an actual discount code for Susie's Wreath and things that I can enter at checkout, please? The link you entered earlier did not work out. Uh, Janice, yes, can I message you? Um, after my live, will you send me a message? Because I'm going to forget Janice Zimmerman. Will you guys tell me where you put the pizza above the DiGiorno one? Yeah. It's above the DiGiorno. Okay. The thin ones? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, that didn't work? Huh. If you message me, I'll send you that link. All right, so I'm just taking, um... A pipe cleaner and I'm got my I call these bundles when I have them together now like I said there was spaces I don't do spaces so I'm just gonna randomly add these between the top ruffles and the bottom ruffle so I'm just like bending the bottom ruffle down and I'm looking at that frame and I'm gonna attach it right to the bar so I'm gonna pull them in so they're in between the ruffles. And I'm just randomly adding them into places. Yes, I will send you a message. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Janice. Otherwise, I'll have to go back through the live and go, who was asking me that question? Because trust me, my memory sucks. I'm getting better. Um... But yeah, it takes me a while. It takes me a while to see you guys on here before, you know, once I see you on often, then I remember. If I remember you, it's like I know a lot of you that are my certain regular followers. And the new ones I try to remember. But it's hard. You guys just got to remember me. Of course, you're, there's a lot of reef makers. But I mean, while I'm live, you're just looking at me and I'm looking at hundreds of names. <laughs> All right. So I'm just going to, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add rolls, and I know on the bottom one there was a big space too. I think I'm going to put one in there. Hi, Renee. Hey, Amelia. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. They're Easter colors. Yeah, my, um, last year I made a... My sister's friend's daughter died when she was 21, and uh, she, I, I guess, I think she fell asleep at the wheel on, the, on her way to work, and she died. She was only 21 years old. Oh, I couldn't imagine losing my daughter or any of my kids. But um, she wanted me to do an Easter wreath for her daughter's grave. So I... I made her a wreath, but she wanted her name. And I only had like two days, so it wasn't like I could custom order a sign. 
So I made a sign and I put her name on it and it had her birthday. She wanted her name and her birthday on it. And it was so pretty. I think there's a picture in my photos um, on my shop somewhere under photos. Thank you, Stacy. Thank you so much. Yeah, so, and in my husband's work, I did some signs for because he works for Facillos, and I don't know if, where you guys live, there's a Facillos, but his famous tagline is huge. Um, so he wanted huge on all the reefs. I'm like, baby, where am I going to find signs that say huge? <laughs> so I had to make them, and it's a dealership, and it was for St. Patty's Day. They ordered um, 14 reefs. So... I had to make all the signs that say huge, so I bought the letters, I put them on a board and glued them, and I painted them all, and then I glittered all the letters, and then I took matchbox cars, and I painted them, I painted them green for, um, St. Patrick's Day, and then I put glitter all over them. They were so cute, and then I put those on the sign and in the, in the briefs, because my son, you know, when he was little... He used to fuck the matchbox cars, and they're just sitting there. So I was like, you know what, Vincent, I need to steal some of those matchbox cars. <laughs> yeah, you guys, so I'm just going to uh, talk about Cheryl's Tech Talk. Uh, you guys know Cheryl Owl, my BFF, and uh, Cheryl was my moderator. I kind of don't have a moderator at the moment because... I hate moderating, and I don't think it's fair that I quit moderating Cheryl, and because um, I know she would still do me, so I had to take her off because I know how she is. Um, now she can just sit back, relax, and not worry about it. Um, but she's got her own. Um, she's opening. She opened up a business called Owls Tech Talk. So if any of you guys are interested in learning how to start your own business page. Uh, YouTube channel, things like that, Etsy, um, she can help you with that. She also, I think, is going to start doing moderating. Uh, so if you guys do want someone to moderate your lives, uh, she'll charge you so much to moderate. Where she goes in, she shares your link, she greets your um, followers um, as they come on in your business name. Um, and, I mean, she, there's a whole bunch of stuff she can help you with. So there's Owl's Tech Talk. Again, there's my design group, LJ's Designers Loft. That's a paid group. Uh, mine and Cheryl's, Cheryl's is uh, $15 a month, and so is my design group. Hey, Regina. And and then I'm also in Lori Jacobs, who's my mentor, and she's my business coach. Uh, I'm in Lori Jacobs' Success Path. And again, I'll put all these links up. I don't put them on Facebook no more. Uh, but they are in my affiliate links on my Facebook. I usually have that pin, but I think right now I have the mesh roller. So you probably would have to scroll way down my page, but I'll go pop that up to the top. I wish you could share more than one pin. <laughs> you know, pin one more than one thing up at the top. Um, also, I see my retired and reefing ladies are on. They're the Canadian sisters, Jaina and Marla. And I love those, I love those gals. And they're called Retired and Reefing, so make sure you check them out. They're just a hoot. They're so funny. Trying to get Marla, or uh, not Marla, Jaina to do a live on camera, but she's just being really difficult about it. <laughs> Usually convince, I can convince people to do something, I can't get her. She's like, no, Laura, absolutely not. I'm like, you don't. See how I'm making this reef right now and you can't really... I mean, I could zoom down more so you don't see here. Um, like, you could just pan right down on that reef. You don't need to show yourself. Because a lot of people don't want to go live because they don't want to be on camera. Yes, I know you did. Yep, you hit a Zoom call on the Soul Sisters. Yep. And, uh... And then I also put uh, Silly's, uh, Silly's, <laughs> Silly Susie Browns. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, 
her link to the mesh roller on there with my affiliate. But all, all these links are in my affiliate links that I'll post later to the top of my page. And again, they're always on every single video on YouTube. If you go down below the video and descriptions, you'll see all the supplies that I used and all my links. <coughs> but I always upload, hi Tina, I always upload all my, um, what size of curls for your cup? Uh, Melinda, I did, I used 10 inch mesh and they're 10 inches long for the rolls. Are you going to make a Valentine's Day? Oh, of course I'm going to be making Valentine's Day. I'm just waiting for the stores to come out with stuff. I've already gotten, I'm doing it in my group 15 kits. So I've already got some of the 15 rolls of ribbons and 15 things of mesh. Um, but I'm waiting, you know, the picks, the adorable little picks that you see more has. Um, and I, 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 you know, I, I've tried to look at the wholesale prices, uh, places because they are cheaper, especially if they're ordering multiple. But I'm really picky. I don't like things that look cheap. Um, so a lot of things that I did like are sold out. And um, the sign, I'm still debating on the sign if I want to have one personally made or do I want to wait till one comes out. But yeah, I'm doing Easter, Valentine's. Uh, the kits will only be available right now for my design group. Hi, Tina. And, um, and then um, I'm hoping by Easter I'll do a certain kit for my design group. And then I'll do a kit for my Facebook people. Because I know you guys want a kit. But... You know, I might have to scale back a little because you guys know I add a lot of stuff in my race and I'm sure you don't want to pay a fortune for a kit. But I, I want the kits to look like how I would make my race, so that's the hardest thing for me is trying to find things at a, a good price so I'm not charging you a fortune because I believe most kits are like $50. But, you know, most reefs don't have as many things in it as I do. <laughs> I mean, I kind of go a little overboard. I don't know when to stop. Like, um, the reef I made last night, the flamingo reef, I didn't have, I didn't have, um, I did not have pink tubing. And today when I went out to the store, I found pink tubing. Hey, Teresa. Hey, Lisa. I thank you. I found pink tubing and I came home and I added it right to the wreath. No, I didn't have to do that. But you guys know I like to have the things in it that I normally have. I'm just weird like that. I can't help it. I want someone to know if they see the reef on your door, they're going to be like, that's Laura Jeans. <laughs> right? I got one roll of mesh, get three, 10 inch, 21, 20. Yeah, you know what, Stacy? I mean, that's not a bad deal. Um, my AC Moore's 21 inch or 10 inch mesh um, is always $5. It doesn't matter what size it is. So... I mean, I guess, and so their mesh is $15, and so you're really getting one roll free, and I guess that's fine. It's not as great as a deal as you think it is, though. They just up their prices, and then they give you a huge discount. Carried and shared. <laughs> I love when you say that. All right, so... I think I'm going to do two more, right? I don't know. I'm just cutting. I'm just cutting away at Joanne's. Joanne's has um, buy one roll of mesh and get three free. But their mesh is $14.99. And, of course, right next to my Joanne's is AC Moore. And AC Moore mesh is $5 no matter what size roll it is. So three rolls would be $15. Four rolls would be 20 so you do get an extra roll at Joann's and I had them in my cart hi Kimberly Kimberly I can't talk right now um 
I had them in the cart. I wasn't really there for that, though. And I'm trying not to do that anymore. Because, I mean, it wasn't really colors that I needed. I already had. <coughs> so I left the cart and left. I, I walked out the store. I'm like, nope, just leave, Laura. Don't do it. Just go. Because I do have a shopping problem. <laughs> Before, it used to be on house, house items. Now it's just all about ribbons and mesh. Uh, you know what? AC Moore does have a site now. It figures I'm, I've am i been saying since, I don't know, summer, I'm going to stock AC Moore stuff because I used to go shopping for people, my followers, at AC Moore, and then send them the stuff. Oh, thank you, Kimberly. Um, so finally, I don't know, like a few weeks ago, I was like, I'm going to go start buying stuff and putting it in my store for my design group. And then they can buy it for me. And I told them, you know, this is this much, but I'm going to charge you this much because obviously I'm going to make money. I'm, I'm a business. Um, and then I went out and I bought a whole huge bag of mesh. And I got home. And didn't I find out that they went online? <laughs> but they don't have all their stuff online. Like, you're definitely not going to find all their adorable little pics in, online. And that's what the lady said. Well, we don't have everything online. I was like, oh, I finally, I'm going to put this stuff in my shop. They're online. Oh, Stacy's a newbie. We're all newbies. All right, so there was a space on the bottom, but if I did it on the bottom, then I got to add rolls to the bottom. I guess you really can't see it, so I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm going to leave it, guys. I mean... Really, only I know what's there. Well, now you do, but you can't see it. We'll fix these ribbons after because they're driving me crazy. All right. Still not crazy about my ribbons, but like I said, I, uh, nothing's out right now. I mean, I could have placed some order for Craft Outlet. I have to go look there. I, I just placed an order. Yep. They finally, I know. I'm like, son of a gun. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, so I added rolls. Let's get the sign on. So I just put my sign on from the front, guys. I don't like to flip the reef over because I need to see exactly where it's going. And I, I like it to float right on top of the mesh. I don't want it to sink down in. It needs a bunny. We're not, we're not that far yet. <laughs> um... I don't want it to sink in. Have you done a Valentine heart? Yes, I have. Yes, I did one last year. I did all rolls. Actually, I think there's a picture of it in my photos on my business page. You'll see all the beginning reefs. Last year, like I said, called Valentine's was the very first um, reefs I sold. So... You know, I, I was just starting then. I mean, they're, they're still good, but I think I've gotten better. <laughs> you know, than when you first start off. I want this to move over. All right. Just want to make sure that's right in the spot I want it at. Where's this tie? I can't see it. Is this an elevated form? Because it doesn't feel like it is. Just a little. Oh. Oh, really, Dan? Nice. You've been busy. Thanks, Maureen. Yeah, um, so everything here, the ribbons, the sign, um, well, not the mesh. The mesh I've got this year is this. Actually, it's from summer, so, yep, the, the mesh, <laughs> the picks, everything is from last year. Nothing was bought new today. But, um, like I said, I went right after, I might have tied that a little too tight. I don't want to do that. Um, after Easter, I went to AC Moore when they had it, I think at 70%. And I stocked up on some stuff just to put away. 
know I got um, dollar store Easter stuff, so I might do a dollar store Easter wreath soon this week for YouTube. Wow, that is a busy day. Do you have a shop, Dan? Do you sell them to do... Um, why, why is that stuff get through there? Do you sell them online? What is that tie from? Oh, there's a tie in my way. It's like, why is that? Shannon, um, send me a message and I'll send you the link for live alerts. I didn't set that up either, guys. I wasn't even going to, I was going to cancel my live, and at 7.30, I had a half hour. I had nothing cut down. I had nothing cut down, and I was just going to cancel, because I, I just had a long day, and I, I was tired. But I was like, suck it up, buttercup. <laughs> Get up there and just do your live. So I ran upstairs, cut all my mesh down, and, it, and I came. I think I still have to mail or send a lady the amount of shipping. I still haven't done that. Yeah, just message me and I'll send you the um, message link for um, live alerts. And then you just got to click it and type live or alert. Normally I would set up, if you say live or alert or type live or alert, it would automatically sign you up. But I haven't done that in a while either. So there's a lot of internet, you know, computer stuff to selling and lies. And it's really just not my favorite. Like, I just want to make a wreath and let someone else do all that. Like Cheryl used to. <laughs> I'm, I know, Judy. Here I am. <laughs> That's what I said. I told them I was going live. You can't say you're going live and then don't go live. I was just so tired. You know how you just, I just really, I, I laid down on the couch. I was like, if I don't get up, I'm going to fall asleep. And I'm going to wake up at 10 going, oh, shoot. That's why normally I would have posted a picture this morning showing you what I was going to do. I didn't even know what I was going to do. Because I was originally supposed to do the purple and turquoise one, but I made it earlier. <laughs> so I was like, crap, now what am I going to make? I mean, I have choices, but still. I have a lot of summer signs from last year, too, so. Um, I'm just going to trim this mesh back here, even though you're not even going to see it because I cover it. There's a lot. play with the ruffles, put them all back out. Right now some of them are squashed. Some of them I do. I can't tell if it's this form. I gotta fix these ruffles. Tuck this under. You don't want your ruffles to look like the sign is squishing them, you know, on the sides. So you kinda gotta get that right shape Otherwise, they look like they're just being squashed. Just want to pull it out. Like this one's way down. Just pull them up right around the edge. I'm going to tuck that under a little because I don't want it all the way out. Missing all the ribbons up, but yeah, there we'll fix all the ribbons after. I'm sleepy, study, Laura, just informing me. Oh, 
I say the vows of kindness is goodbye. Oh, Alan, are you going night night? Girl, I don't blame you. And I, I stayed up till 2 in the morning watching TV because, you know, I had to watch all my shows. And then my son got me up at 7 this morning. So I didn't get a lot of sleep either. And I didn't get my nap today. All right, so I'm going to... I'm going to turn some of these ribbons now. Just on the top, like the shape of an X. Just so... Gonna shape them out a little better because I don't like the ones going outwards on the top right now. They look like they're getting squished by the by the um, ruffles because of the way the sign is. So now we gotta play with them. Now we gotta give them a better shape. So, I have, hi, Emily Brown. Emily's going to come do a live with me. I mean, I told her when, but she's not, no, she's not answering. <laughs> she's like, crap, I am not on here right now. Uh, Emily sells jewelry online, so I know she's not afraid to be online. Kayla said she would, but I know I'll never see her. Yeah, you just really got to play with the ribbon. Ribbon has wire in it, though, so it will shape where you want it to. You just got to, you got to own that ribbon, okay? You're the boss. So, I have, I think I was going to do the pink ones instead of the blue, but these are cute, too. So, these are on a stick. These aren't, this is not bendable. So, I might break this stick, and I might use my tie and then use the tie to hold it but I don't know because it doesn't bend or we can stick it I should probably get the one I want to use I don't know if I want to use that hold on do I want I think I was gonna do the pink ones let me look I don't know I guess it doesn't matter. Oh, thank you, Janice. Thank you, Anna. Thank you, Marla. You guys, we're not done yet. <laughs> we gotta add all the little eggs and the Easter's and the flour and the bunnies. Do I have two big nose colors? Oh, I'll be so mad. I think I used them in the uh, well, I have pink, so I, could, I guess I could do pink. And I know I don't got that blue because I used it in the blue and white wreath I did in the design group. Most of the, most of the, I have Valentine's, the, I have black, white, and red. I have the Mardi Gras. And I used, did I use all that? Oh, wait, let me see where that go. Hold on. That ribbon, that one's just the very tubing is so thick. What was the colors of this? This one might look pretty. Isn't that pretty? So this has got purple, pink, green, and turquoise. Purple, pink, green, and turquoise. Can you see that color? zooming in for it. Isn't that pretty? So it's got 
the colors in it. Hi, Alex. I love you. Hi, Alex. I can't wait for to see you guys. I miss yous. You know your mom never visits me in the winter. I want to see what this looks like in here. So this is thick. This is the nice, nice tubing. This is like eight, seven to eight dollars a bag. So um, I forgot who said they were having trouble with their. You need, you need to show the purple and turquoise with you. Made. Oh, I'm going to, and the um, grapevine that I made in the group because I want to show you all the stuff I added to it. Actually, nothing's glued in it though, so hopefully none of it falls out. <laughs> Isn't it pretty? Yeah, I seen it and I just I just love the colors in it. I didn't know what I was using it for, but I bought it. But I think this will just add more pop of color. So I'm gonna put this in with the pink and the bunny ones. So with the bunnies. Let's see. Now I don't want it to be too long. So all I'm doing is, oh, let me zoom back up, sorry. <clears throat> all I'm doing is I'm making a loop just like this. It's got a little one inch tail. Then I'm going to go the opposite way and it looks just like an eight. See that? Infinity, an eight. Then I'm going to make another loop. I'm going to double this one. My loops are probably three, four inches long. It's a four inch hoop. And then I'm going to do it the opposite way again. And then I'm going to cut it. So we have double eights. So I might do just this color on the top, and then we'll add the pink on the bottom. We'll see. I don't know if I want this to go all the way around. Hi, Michelle. See, it's pretty. Not sure why people get rid of it. Yeah, I, I'm not sure either. I just want to put it in. And then I'll look at it. Because I, I did this in the turquoise and purple wreath, but there's turquoise and purple in here. I'm not sure I like this in here either. It is pretty, though. I just don't. The, I, I have a, a tealy turquoise and a darker pink mesh coming this week. But I mean, if this sells, obviously I can't put it in there. And if I glue too many things in here, I can't add it either. But let me look. Let me look when I got more of a minute. Yeah, I think I think it's a little much for this one. Yeah, I think I'm just going to use pink. It's too much color. If I had, um, you know what this would, you know what I think I bought this for? I think I bought this for a peacock. I can't remember what I bought it for. But I did use it in the, the purple and turquoise wreath um, this morning. I was just thinking of it, but we're just going to do pink. So let's just do the pink. <laughs> I just wanted to see it in it, but yeah, I think it's too much color. Yeah. It took away. It was like, oh, what was that? Don't worry, guys. I, I got it. I just wanted to see. All right. So again, we're just doing a loop. I'm going to make this loop a little bigger. Because these are skinnier. It's not as thick. Make sure I got enough. Yeah, my white is... The, the white looks... um. A little silvery. Do we want to pop pink over here? Pink over here. Pink over here. No, I'm just going to add it over here. Um, it, it's not really white white. It's not, it's not, I don't like it. It looks dingy white. It looks dirty. Hi, Mandy. It looks like a dirty white. It almost looks silver. Yeah, I don't like it. Will you show the flamingo wreath you mentioned earlier? Yes. Yeah, so that one was done. Um, last year I did a flamingo, and I'm actually going to do another one like that. i got to order more mingos. Or I told my husband today if that one doesn't sell soon, I'll just take the mingos out it and do the green and pink one. Because um, I did a green and pink one last year, and I loved it. And I don't 
I'm not a big flamingo person, but it was so pretty. Um, and, yeah, so I'll show you. Actually, let me just show you now so I can get that out, because I'm going to forget by the time I'm done. I always do that. I'm like, I'll show you guys after, and then I'm like, bye. <laughs> so hold on. I'm, I'm forcing you guys to stay on. I don't want to run over my tooth. All right. So let me show you this one. Oh, the sucker's heavy. So this one I made in the design group. This was the very first. Oh, it's heavy. I couldn't imagine how much this is to ship. This was the first reef I made in the design group. I just want to move that real quick. We'll get back to that. I know. I'm stopping. Look at the two little squirrels in there. Hold on. My ornament's gone. Um, so I did go ahead and add all these little turquoise. See, that one's still got a tag. I didn't glue them in yet. But all these little beaded things, I added all around. I added some more um, ornaments. And I think I'm going to flock the pine cones. So the brown pine cones... I'm going to add some flock to those because I don't like the brown. I want more white on them. But I added $20 more of stuff in here and it's still at $135. I didn't raise it. Um, this is supposed to be a winter wreath. So after Christmas, you have a winter wreath for your door. And again, this wreath is over a 200 and something dollar wreath. I, I, I should have probably listed it more. But I said I wouldn't, so I'm not. And if anything, I'll just put it on my door. All right, let me get that flamingo and then the purple. Because I said, last night I said I was going to show something after the live, and I completely forgot until I already shut off. <clears throat> I was like, oh, shoot, I forgot. Um, this is the pink one. The lighting in here. Is that in your way now? I always do it wrong. This is much prettier than it is on camera. All the wreaths are much prettier than they are on camera. I mean, I try to get the good lighting in here, but it's really pretty in person. And I, I don't even like pink. It's really cute, though, for anyone that loves flamingos. And then this one, I, I really wanted to keep this today. <laughs> I love this one. This one came out gorgeous. And then this is the one I made today. It's, look how big it is. This is, how tall does this go up to? I put it in the box and it completely squashes the bow. So I'm like, you gotta redo your bow like fluff it. She's like, no problem. It's 11 inches tall. <sighs> My boxes are only eight inches deep. So yeah, isn't that pretty? I was like, you don't know how bad I wanted to keep this, but it was a custom order I made for someone. So I, I can't say, oh, I'm keeping your wreath. And actually I got another order on it today. Someone asked me if I could please make them it because she tried to buy it, but I was like, it's a custom order. I can't sell it to you. Yeah, so um, I should just make myself one, I know, but I probably won't. Yeah, that came out gorgeous. And that's even prettier in person. Like, I try to do the videos on the door in the day so you can get, like, the daylight because um, it does show up more, but they're, they're still even prettier, more prettier in person than even in the video. Alright, let's get back to Easter. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, they, they came out, that one came out gorgeous. And the flamingo one's really pretty too. It just, it doesn't show well on the camera. And it really didn't show well on the door, which is weird. Thanks, thank you, Marla. Yeah, I know when I did it, I was like, oh my god, that's so pretty. I really want to keep it. And then, and then, of course, I have to make another one. So maybe I will make one. I probably won't, but I probably won't make one for myself. I usually just throw a reef, reef on my door. Leave it up there for like a week. I, I, 
I always take the pictures on the door, so I constantly have to move the wreath for the picture. So, a lot of times I don't have a wreath on the door. Or if I do, I'll throw one up. Like right now, there's a Christmas tree up on the door. Um, <coughs> our, my Halloween ones, God, every time I put a skeleton one on the door, I'd had it up for two days and it would sell. And I made another one, and then that one sold. Then I made another one, and my daughter took it. I was like, all right, I'm not listing this one. <laughs> yes, yes, it did. Yeah, it really popped. It's it's much prettier in person than, than you guys see it on the camera. So, you know, if it doesn't show well on the camera, people don't really see how pretty it is. So it's it's hard to, sometimes they're hard to sell if they're not showing well on the camera. All right, so we got that and those. I'm going to do the pink around the bottom. I think I have more pink in the drawer. And then we'll add the Easter eggs and the bunnies. And I think we're done. Then we will be done, done, done. Thank you, Anna. Thank you. I love making wreaths. Yeah, you guys, so, um, you know, right now, I was, I don't really charge as much as I should for my wreaths, because I'm trying just to get my name out, and I'm new this year, um, but, you know, I do have a debt, so, um, I am going to start raising my prices of my wreaths after the first of the year, so I could actually maybe after a year now, because well, Valentine's will be a year. Maybe I can make some money. Hi, Connie. Hi, Julie. My BFF, Connie Padini from uh, Connie's Recent Things is on, or Recent Things by Connie. I always say it backwards. It doesn't matter how you search it, though. They both, it comes up. How are you feeling, honey? Are you still not feeling good? I don't like that you don't feel good. A lot of people just don't feel good today or this week. You don't got the flu, right? You don't got the flu. No. I got my flu shot last week. My doctor got me when I was in the office. I was like, ugh, I'm here. I might as well get it. And my husband was with me, so I made him get one too. <laughs> uh oh, do I get more pink? You know what? <gasps> That's a different pink. Is it different? Oh, I like that one better. Shoot. Is that, is that the same one? Same? Nope. It's kind of different. Hopefully they won't notice. Shoot. Yeah, you know, the best, uh, like I said, after my videos or my lives, I don't post pictures of my wreaths because, I mean, I could beam the light at it. I mean, it comes out okay inside. I just really like them on the door outside in the daylight. I think it's the, it, it gives the best color of the wreath, more accurate to how it really looks because lighting, sometimes lighting and then, you know, people go and photo edit and add, you know, the, what are they called when you could pick like make the brief look even more colorful and but that's not really what it looks like I, I don't do that I don't make it look more green than it is or more pink than it is because um, I don't want you to get it and think oh well that looks so much color more colorful or more than that and that's not really what it is because you did that editor thing or whatever it's called It looks like pink spaghetti. Yes, it does. It is a different color, though, but I don't think it's that noticeable. I guess we'll find out tomorrow on the door, though, because <laughs> I will pull them all out. Hi, Karen. All 
I love the color pink that, um, the one that I got at Craft Outlet coming this week. It's pretty. It's very pretty. So I got turquoise pink. What other colors did I get? Did I get green? Turquoise pink green. There's a, there, they have a green one in there I love. And at Christmas time, they have like a silver frosted one. I, don't, I think I ordered like six of them this winter and I used them all. And... Oh, I got them all. Okay. So... Yeah, I just, I got tons of it. <laughs> all those drawers over there are full with tubing. All the drawers under my desk or my table, my closet. You should just call me Miss Tubing. Okay. If I get tubing, I don't shove in the doors though. So let's glue, we'll put these on last. Let's glue some eggs in here. We have, let's add some color. So because we have this color, we can actually add color eggs. Okay, so I'm just gonna glue these. Just dump them out. see the wreath. So I do want different colors because Easter really is about color. That's for sure. Now normally I do the ornaments and just stick the hole right into the stem, the um, ties. I mean I could poke a hole in here but I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to open up my ties and then I'm going to glue this and stick it right in the middle of the ties. So it's kind of like a little shelf holder for the egg. The egg. Okay. Alright. So I'm going to do a blue one in the pink. So I'm just going to put some glue right on the bottom. You know, don't overdo your glue, but make sure you got enough in there to hold that egg. And when you actually put it on the tie, it makes the egg stand up a little higher. I'm just going to hold it for a second so it dries because it's on that tie. So I don't want it to fall. I want to say, would you zoom in a little, please? Oh, I'm sorry. <coughs> Wait, what's wrong with my mabel? Oh, it's that light. Hold on. Shoot. It's like, what is that? Half the room got cut off. Is that better? All right, so we're just gonna do different colors all the way around. Let's add, I want a yellow. Do a big yellow. Actually, let's do big, small, big, small. Let's do some medium. I got other eggs too, where are those? Oh, and I have the these ones that look like rocks with the bumps on them. Good night, Faith. Thanks for watching, sweetie. Have a good night. Thanks, Connie. I love all your wreaths, so. Let's do a green one. Let's do a big green one. See, it's a good thing we went with the striped, the striped one because it allows me to add other colors. Because you know I wouldn't have. I'm too matchy. <laughs> I'd have been like, nope, there's none of that color in here. I am not putting it in. So now I'm going to do a medium pink. And I am putting mine all the ties. All the way around. I don't know why, because some of the bunnies are going to cover them, but whatever. Hi, Jacqueline. So we got pink. What are we missing here? Baby blue, green, yellow, purple. We need a big purple. That might have 
たら戻しますこれを。What are the eggs made of? Um, I don't know. Plastic? They're plastic. Now, I did say those ornaments that I used in that ornament hanger wreath were plastic. You guys, I can't tell with ornaments. I really can't. They weren't. They were all glass. <laughs> they were 100% glass. <laughs> you know why I know that? Because I broke a couple. Yep, and they broke, and I was like, ooh, I said those were plastic, and they're glass. So my bad. So I, I really can't tell with some of those ornaments if they're glass or not. Your ribbons uh, look so crisp. Do you use cotton wire ribbon? It seems most notably for cotton and polyester, I assume. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, some of these are cotton. Uh, this is just like a sheer. Um... No, you know what I do? So I normally cut my ribbons ahead of time. Then I stack them all on top of each other, how I'm gonna lay them out. And then I take a chip clip. This is a wide one. Um, so I'll, I'll clip this right in the middle. But my, you know, you really gotta shape and pull your ribbons, guys. They have wires. Just pull them from the bottom if they're curling up, pull it out and shape it. You can shape your ribbon any way you want. If your ribbons aren't going the way you want them, it's because you're not putting them that way. Um, but if you take um, clips and you put one at the top and one at the bottom of all your ribbons, once you've got them, stack them up, clip this on, clip one on the bottom, it lays them out flat. You know, do that in the day and then set them aside till you're ready to do a live or make a wreath later. And it really does help them stay straight. I mean, I've heard Demon mention um, some people flat iron their ribbon. I'm like, oh, hell no. That's just too much. Like, who's got that much time? <laughs> you do? Marley, you do not flat iron your ribbon. Nope, I don't even want to flat iron my hair, yet ribbon, okay? All right, I, I definitely ain't using that color. I don't like that. And I think I'm just going to try to stay, I don't know, I like, oh, I like this bag. I don't want to rip it. All right, let's grab a green. Oh, look, these got little... Those are cute, but I don't want them. Hi, Judy. So let me open up that tie. Stick it right to the tie. So if you guys um, don't use your tie and you're going to stick this right onto the ribbon. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, whoa, Marla. Um... If you're not gonna stick your eggs to your ri or your ties and you want to put it right to your ribbon, make sure that you got your ribbon facing exactly the way you want it before you put that um, glued egg on it. You love the chocolate eggs. <laughs> These ones look like poop. I don't like those. No, no. I like these ones with the um, little dots in them because they look like little bird eggs. They have little dots in them. Those are cute, but I'm trying to stick with the same eggs, but I'll probably end up using some of those because I don't know if I have enough. And again, I'm going to, normally I would just put the eggs in, um, actually I'm going to do the big ones in every other tie, and then I might add the small ones into the other ones. But I don't normally do the bottom every tie, but it's Easter. One just fell on the floor, and it's the pink one. I want that. Grab a good blue one. I still do have to fix the sign, make sure it's tight. Oh, 
what color did I want? I want that pink one that fell on the floor. You threw your iron out years ago? Well, girl, you've got good hair. You can do that. Mine's a hot mess. I just throw it up. I don't care. I hate, I hate curling my hair. It takes forever. Plus, half my hair fell out a few years ago, so it just never looks the same anymore. I told my son for Christmas I want Rogaine. <laughs> I really want a nice big wig. I want a wig in all different colors. Short hair, long hair. You know what I mean? Like one day it could be a redhead. The next day it could be a brunette. I could have blue hair, pink hair. How cool would that be? Short hair, long hair. I think that would be so fun. I'm serious. It's, I want it. I want wigs, wigs, wigs. I used to have such thick, full hair, especially in the front. And I lost about two inches of my whole front hairline all the way across three years ago. It just all fell out. I don't know. I had a double ear infection at the time and a sinus infection. And then I, and then that week, um, literally two inches all the way across the front of my head fell out and um, some on the sides. But, you know, it'd be different if it was in the back or even on the side, but your front hairline, it's like, really? <laughs> but, you know, it's fine. Getting old, I guess. I want that pink one. I have to get it. So, sometimes I wear clip-ons. You can't really put them in the front, though, because you can see them. And I don't have enough hair in the front to hold them without you seeing it. Sure, you probably can see them anyways. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to add these little ones um, to where I didn't put. Um, so I did the big ones in every other tie where I had the tubing. And now I'm just going to go... Oh, I put one where there wasn't tubing. Well, uh, a big one. I wanted the little ones where there wasn't the tubing, but whatever. Um, and then we'll just put on... The, this is really cute. I mean, of course, it's a big egg in the middle, so you gotta do lots of eggs. What colors are green and pink? We'll do the same. There's nothing wrong with that. race. I know. I'm already, I already know what I'm doing on my next couple. Okay, I think I got one more. So we got green and yellow. Let's do this purple. And then I just got to put on those, let me get rid of these, the um, bunnies. And then I will hold it up. I'm going to go with the pink ones. I am going to break this stick, though. Actually, where's those big cutters? I don't know if these open enough. Nope. And then 
I'm going to try to put the wire. I'm going to wire this one. Oh, it's got wires in there so you can face shape them. Oh, how cute. Let me get rid of some of this. Hold on. So I'm going to wire the bunny gear um, faces in there. So I'm going to grab my... Oh, you guys, when I was doing that bow on the turquoise in... I was so mad earlier. Um, when I was doing my bow for the middle of the turquoise and purple wreath. So I did my bow and then I put the wire in it and I was squeezing it tight. And then I put it on my, um, what's that board, your fluff, fluff box. And I was fluffing it. And didn't the freaking wire break all the bolt, the ribbons were coming undone. I had to try to hold it and then add a new wire to it. it I've never had a, a wire break. I love this. But then again, I love all you guys. Oh, thanks, Barb. Thank you, thank you. So I'm going to add just a little bit longer of a wire so I can reach that frame. So I don't want it short. I always cut them too long, but I'd rather have them too long than too short. Oh, oh my God, cut it. Those things are gigantic. All right, so let me stand up. Actually, where's the other two? I think I'm just going to do the three pink ones. I was going to add a blue one in there, but I think I'll just stick to the three pink. I gotta look. Where do I want one? So I could put one right between the ribbons. So I could put one here. I could put one. I'm gonna break it. Let's just cut it. Let me just wire their heads. So I'm just sticking the wire right through the back of their, and it's actually going in quite easy, so I'm excited about that. I'm just going right through their fur. I'm kind of giving it a little turn so it comes back out. I'm not going too deep in because it won't come back out. Oh shit, we might have lost it. Yep. The other one went in super easy. Come back out. Don't want to poke a hole. Hold on. This one's not cooperating like the other one did. giving me problems. Now I could have just glued this, but I'd rather wire them. So I can put one there. Now you guys, oh, I missed an egg in that spot. Oh, that's cool. We can put that one right there. I missed an egg. See, it was meant to be there. <clears throat> and then I'm going to add one over here. Kind of do it like a hook. Feel it. Got it. Okay. I don't like those big cutters. So I'm just going to twist this a couple times right where I went through. Alright. And let's put this one... I'm going to say right here. Right on top of that pink egg. Maybe right after the pink egg. Yeah, 
right there. All right, I just gotta get these in. I'll twist this a couple times. And then I'll hold it up. So I want his, her face like right this way. I gotta go back more. There's wire in the ears so you can shape out the ears. How cute is that? Okay, now I'm just going to wrap this around the bar, the wreath form. So I'm putting one side of the wire on one side of the bar. I'm putting the other on the other side. I'm going to give it a couple twists, and then I'm going to wrap the rest of it right around the bar. Yeah, I didn't um, do my, I didn't set up my, um, you know, for tonight, my live to say live or alert. Um, I will either go back through this or if you could be, it would be even quicker if you just sent me a message saying live alert, please. And then I'll send you the link and all you do is click it and then you type live or alert in the comment and then you're automatically signed up for my live alert. I'm sorry, guys. I didn't set it up, and I usually don't. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. I know I should. It would make it so easy. All you got to do is say live or alert during my live, and you're automatically signed up. But, like I said, I wasn't. I almost wasn't going to come on tonight. But I'm glad I did. This is so cute. I love doing Easter bunny overload. <laughs> I love doing Easter. Christmas was my favorite though. Uh, for sure. And um, but I love doing Easter mesh wreaths. And Valentine's were fun too. And you know a, a lot of people say that Valentine's wasn't a big seller for them but I did pretty good last year. Oh, thanks, Kay. Thank you. I kind of want her head right there. She's the head bunny. I guess I could have put a boy in there. I should have did two boys and a girl because I have two boys and a girl. Because <laughs> I have three of each. I have three girls and three boys. The bunnies, but I mean... I could have put the two blue ones and one pink one. Okay, so then we gotta do one more. Where's that other buddy? Did he fall? Where'd he go? Did he fall? He did, huh? Yep. Crawl down there, grab. Shoot, where did I have him? Oh, I know. So I want this one. What's the front? Okay. I want that one right there. So I'm going to have to go back in and tighten up some of the sign. I can already see that. ears are so cute. You can shape them. That is too cute. That's where my sign is, but I know I have to go back in. Huh. Over here. So, you guys, I use for my hangers to hang up your wreath. I just use ribbon. Um, where did you get your bunnies, Laura? Elaine, I get a, I got them at AC more last season. Um, but I will be getting more. They're gonna. Let me go back. 
go to our natural tubing digits for Laura. <laughs> right? I can't help it. But I love tubing. I just think it looks nice in a reef. It adds another dimension and pop of color. I just, I like full big reefs. I can't help it. And again, some people don't. Uh, the lady that ordered the... <laughs> Oh, God. The lady that wanted the one that I made, the purple and turquoise one. And then I said, well, that's a custom order. She said, well, can you make an, are you going to make another one? And I said, well, if you're going to order it, yeah. So she ordered it. She goes, well, can you make it smaller? I said, lady, I don't do small. Don't you watch me? <laughs> I mean, I go, well, I mean, I will if you want me to, but <laughs> I prefer not to do a small one and I don't like budgets. <laughs> You know, because when you give me a budget, it, I can't create the way I normally would. Like, that reef would not have looked that way. So I don't like budgets, and I don't like doing small reefs. And honestly, I'm going to go do a smaller frame, but it's still going to be just as big. I'm telling you. Um, I used to do 18-inch when I first started making reefs. Um, they were 18-inch reef forms, and my 15-inch is just as big as those. So it doesn't matter if I do a smaller frame. I'm still going to make it look just as big. Oh, that was funny, though. I was like, lady, I know too small. Don't you know me? <laughs> Who says that? I did. <laughs> She's like, oh, that's okay. You then make it big. <laughs> oh, I cracked myself up. I think I'm just tired. <laughs> small. All right, it's done. Let me zoom up. Okay. Da -da -da -da. I'll move some of that so you can see the actual sign. Isn't it cute? Wait, this way? No. Yep, no, this way. Oh, it's so opposite. It's so weird. I hate the camera. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. What? Alexa, no one's talking to you. Shut off. I'm having trouble connecting to the internet. Alexa. Take a look at the help section in your Alexa app. I'm shutting you off. Wow. I didn't even ever program this thing. <laughs> she just started talking out of nowhere. I was like, what the hell was that? Isn't it cute? It's very Easter. This way. Can you see the colors? So I put backs on all my reefs. I don't want to put it back on that because I know I need to go back in and tighten up the sign, but I'll give you an idea. What's in there? Blue, same, green, or blue, pink. No, do I have blue? No. Alright, so let me um, grab some ribbon. I don't have a lot of this left, so I might as well use that for the hanger. All right, so I'm going to determine where I want my ribbon to go because I want to make sure it's centered with my sign. So I'm going to tie, I'm just tying a double knot on the back around the ring. That's all I'm doing, guys. So I'm going to tie a double knot. It's hard to do it the opposite way, but let's see if I can try. So I'm going to tie a double knot. Nice and tight. Sorry, there's frays and they're bugging me. If you wanted, you could smack some glue on there, but trust me, mine's tight. I'm going to determine how long I want my hair. So I like it to stick just a little bit above the reef, not too much. I actually need to come over more. Now remember, the wider you go with your hanger, it's not going to lay flat on the door. It'll, it'll, um, if you've got it close together, it's going to lay perfectly flat, flat. The wider you go with your ribbon, it kind of puffs out, um, uh, on the top. And I don't like that. I don't like the top leaning out a little bit more. So I try not to go too wide. Of course, my hang tie hangers. And if you're smart, and I should do this, and I always forget to. You should line up your sign with this. See how there's these middle bars? You should line that sign up so you can put a hanger. 
tie on each side of that bar, this middle bar. But I always forget to do that. I should know by now, but that's fine. So I tie a knot, double knot, nice and tight. Trim that off. And I was using sheer ribbon, guys, for my hangers. I don't use the sheer no more. Um, and let's hope nobody's hanger falls off, but <laughs> I was using sheer. And I noticed after a while, the sheer started tearing, you know, and I didn't double it. Um, so I don't do that no more. I use regular um, ribbon. And then all I do is I take my... I like the color of this pink mat. So I got to go back in here and tighten this up. So I don't want to put that on right now. So this one's a little small. This um, thing. Let me see if the other one's bigger. It depends on where you get them from. The at-home store, theirs are bigger. It's the same size. But anyway, so all I do is I put this on. And if it is smaller, like see how this doesn't go perfectly around? I just don't tie my zip ties tight. I leave a little space in here, so this will stay exactly where it is. And all I do is I poke a hole. I usually use a steak knife. I'll poke a hole. Where is it? <clears throat> um, you could do your scissors or whatever, but I just use a steak knife. Don't hurt yourself. So I just poke a hole right through it, just a small one. And then I take a zip tie. And I pull it through. I go around the frame. So I'm going around that frame. I'll just put this one on because I can still tie that. So I don't want this. Normally I would pull this super tight. But because this is not the same size. It's a little bit smaller. I don't want like a big, I don't want it full up here and then there's a big space. I'm trying to make it more even. So I'm just going to leave that tight. Now here's the key when you're doing your um, zip ties. You want to snip that off. And remember, because now this is sharper, you just cut it to turn that to the inside of your reef so you're not scratching someone's door. So I'll put one here. I'll put one down here. I put one down here. Like... In the middles, I put four. That's all I. That's all you need four. I mean, you could go nuts and put more on it, but you're just going to waste your zip ties. Um, so I put one here, one here, one here, and one at the top, and then it's covered and it looks pretty because some people hang these on their glass door or their screen doors. You just glue it to the frame. You could do that too. I just zip tie. Everyone has their own way. It doesn't matter how you do it, but. It just looks more finished and nice, um, especially when you're at a certain price range. You want to make sure that you finish the back. I think I saw my neighbor when I first started making wreaths, um, a wreath that didn't have a back on it, and I charged her 90 bucks. <laughs> uh, I was thinking of that today. I was like, I should just go give her a refund. She got robbed. I mean, I just started making wreaths, you know. I was overspending, definitely. Isn't it pretty? It's so cute. I love it. I love the, I love the colors. Easter. Just bright and happy. Okay, let me unplug my glue gun. Alright, guys. So, I will upload this to um, YouTube. I'll, I'll get both uh, yesterday's video and tonight's video up tomorrow. I'm probably not going to do it tonight. I would say I, I am, but I'm lying. So I'm just going to tell you now, I'm not going to do it tonight. And then watch me go ahead and do it. You just never know with me. But it'll definitely be up tomorrow. And it'll have all the links. And so if you guys want to join Owl's Tech Talk, that link will be there. Lori Jacobs Success Path, that link will be there. Uh, my design group. Uh, you could just push the learn more button right at the top of my page, right under my logo. It'll take you right to PayPal. That group is $15 a month. It's my design group. I go in twice a week. And uh, you guys, I opened up a public group. So it's a closed public group. You just have to answer three questions. It's free. 
um, answer the three questions and me or one of my moderators will approve you. And you can go in there and, you know, get inspired by other wreath makers, see if they're wreaths, um, you know, support one another. Uh, there's no selling, uh, no mentioning sales or sales of wreaths, but you can share your wreaths. You can give tips. Uh, that um, page is LJ's Crafty Creators and More. So um, it's free. You guys can go in there and sign up like, you know, all the other groups. And, um, but my design group is 15. Owl's Tech Talk is 15. I think Lori Jacob's Success Path, I want to say, is 20. Is it 20? I think it's 20. And then, of course, we got Susie Brown's Mesh Roller. That'll be in there, too. And you guys, I'm telling you, those are going up, up, up. So you should buy them now. And uh, I'll, I'll go check my link. I don't know why that's not working. It should. Good night, Judy. Thanks for watching, guys. And I think I told you everything. I always, every time I get off the live, I'm like, oh, you didn't mention this and you didn't mention that. I, I forget, you know, I gotta try to network. <laughs> I just wanna make the wreath. Yes, yes, I know, and people have been posting like mad in there. I try to go in and, you know, like everyone or make say something to everyone's videos, but um, my days, the last few days, I've been so busy. So I definitely need to get some more moderators. Like I'm mad at Marla as a mar moderator, or Jaina. One of both of you, whatever. Um, because I do need help, you know, um, for people to watch the site, make sure no one's selling on it, trying to sell on it. It's not a sell site. Thank you, Tony. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you watching and sharing tonight. Show me the love. I love all you guys. And um, I think I'll be back on soon in a couple days. i got to go in the group for a couple days, and then I'll be back. Thanks, Pat. Thanks, Mary. Good night, everyone. Good night, Mary Ellen. Good night, Tony. I love you guys. And I'll see you when I see you. Bye.